Hello and welcome back to the channel, it's Echo Stretch. In this video, we do have some great news. We have a new release of the Goal 10 Cheat Manager version 1.0.0 by Damien. Um, it is going to allow us to bring out the hidden feature in Goal 10, uh, only on Beta 7. Uh, but we're going to jump right into the video, guys. Um, just moments ago, Damien did release the, uh, the package file. Um, you can go ahead and jump over to his Twitter and download it. Uh, if we look down below here, it says thanks to Lightning Mod for helping out with the debug or debugging the uh, CURL library and Chronix for the new app icon and background. So if we go ahead and just click on here, um, you can see it brings up the page and it does give you a link for the download. Now, for the second part of this here, because it does give us the patches, but for the patches to work, now uh, Illusion. You might know Illusion. He does create all the, mostly all the uh, the patches that we have for 60 frame per second, 30 frame per second, different resolutions there too. Um, so this here is all going to come together for these to work just as same as you would work with uh, with your cheats. Um, but yeah, if we jump over to Chameleon's Twitter, as you can see here. Uh, Preview, use that only at, at your own risk. Um, as you can see, it's called test. Um, it cannot be renamed. The only way it's going to work is if the file stays named test. Um, but yeah, Goal 10 2.2.5 Beta 7 has a hidden feature. It is able to use the process illusion patches. Um, how to use it in conjunction with Goal 10 Cheat Manager. Um, so step one, it does give a, a couple of steps here. To place in the folder, data, goal 10, plugins, go ahead and place your test in there. If you're running an old, uh, an old cheat manager, it doesn't have the plugin folder. Um, you can just go ahead and create that and then uh, add tests. We'll do all that once we get into that part. But uh, other than that there, you just go ahead and install the package and you should be good to go. Um, so I went ahead and downloaded both of them. So if we go ahead and just minimize all this, you can see I do have the test and I do have the package. So if we go ahead and just open up our USB drive, um, I have one right here. Just go ahead and drag over our package file. And once we do get that copied over, we can go ahead and just jump over to the PS4. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we're going to have to go ahead and load Goal 10. It does not work with any other Goal 10, so you will need to load 2.2.5 B7. I went ahead and just used uh, Lethal's host on my 701 host, but uh, you're free to use whichever host you want. Once you do get it loaded, we're just going to go ahead and jump over to our settings. Go down to Network. Go to View Connection Status. And we're going to take note of the IP address. As you can see, it's 10.0.0.223. And then from there, we can back out and we'll go up to our Goal 10 Manager. And we'll go into the server settings. And we're going to enable FTP. I have mine enabled, but uh, if we go ahead and just enable it again, you can see it does come up with the IP address as well and the, uh, the port. So once we do have that there, we can go ahead and back out of here. And we'll go ahead and jump over to the computer. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we're going to go ahead and upload our test file. So we'll go ahead and open up FileZilla. Then we'll go ahead and type in that IP address that we took note of. Uh, 223, and it was port 2121. Go ahead and hit connect. And if you do get prompt on a message, just go ahead and hit OK. So from here, we're going to go into our data folder. We'll find Goal 10. Now, as you can see, we do have files from the old uh, the old version. Um, you don't need to delete them, but uh, usually when I install a new version, I like to uh, start clean. We're going to keep the config file, but for the rest of them, we'll go ahead and just delete them. Now, there is quite a few cheats that are in there, so we'll give it a few moments here just to... Uh, to delete everything. I think uh, it says uh, 1800 there now. So shouldn't take very long and we should be good to go. Okay, and I think we are done. Okay, so from here, we're just gonna go ahead and create a directory. 
and we'll name this here one plugins and from there we'll go ahead and jump in that folder and I'm already set up here on our desktop so we'll go ahead and transfer over our test file so we have test right here upload and that is basically everything so from there we can go ahead and jump over to the PS4 Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll just make sure that we do plug in our USB with our package file on it. But once that is done, we'll jump up to our settings, go into Gold 10, Debug Settings, and then Package Installer. And we should see our package there. We'll go ahead and select X on it. If you do get a message, just go ahead and overwrite it as we are installing a new, newer version. Give it a few moments. There we go. So we'll go ahead and back out of there once it's installed. And it should be on our main screen here. There we go. There we'll go ahead and select it. Give it a few moments to open up. Once it does, we'll go ahead and update it with the latest files. Okay, so we do have our update option. If we look over here, we do have the patches and that's what we're gonna be focusing on. But let's go ahead and update first. Okay, it doesn't take very long, and extract the files. 1,872 files, go ahead and hit OK, and there we go. We have a 145 patches, go ahead and hit OK, and then we'll jump over to our patches. Okay, you can press down on the down arrow, but R2 does do it pretty quick. And we're going to be looking for Days Gone. Go ahead and select it. And as you can see, we can unlock the 60 frames per second, as well as the resolution. I'm currently not on the Pro, I'm actually on a Slim, but uh, the 720 should work if you go ahead and give that a try. But we're gonna focus on the frames per second with this particular game. So let's go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. And as you can see, we have the game here. But before we go ahead and launch the game, let's just jump over to settings, go up to our Goal 10 option, go into our game overlay, and go ahead and enable the frames per second counter and then we'll go ahead and hit show okay so we'll back out of there we're gonna go ahead and launch the game first before we enable anything just to confirm that we are running at something other than 60 frames per second so it should load up in the bottom left hand corner usually doesn't take very long once the game starts loading we should have a uh, a frames per second number so so we got our zero there, but once it does start loading, I think it runs around 29. Okay, there we go. So 29.30. But there's basically what we're going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and just close that out now, as we'll go ahead and launch what we need to launch here, the 60 frames per second. Go ahead and select it again. And we'll go ahead and activate the 60 frames per second. You should get a message saying 60 frames per second. Unlock enabled. Go ahead and hit OK. And then from there, we're not going to close out the program. We're just going to go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. And go back into Days Gone. And we'll launch that. Okay, we'll give it a few moments here. Same as before. Um, we'll wait and we should get the frames per second counter to come up. And then we should get a number once it starts loading in. So you can see at the top there it says two patches applied. Um, it's just, we only enable one, but uh, the way it's adding is uh, that 60 frames per second might have two different patches on it in order for it to work, but uh, it just comes up to. This is still uh, a beta, I guess you might as well say. It's just for testing. Um, later on, we should get a full version that will uh, fix up some of these bugs. But as you can see, it is jumping from 71 to 45, I, no, 47, I believe, yeah, 66. But we are getting around that 60 frames per second counter that we were uh, looking for. Okay, so I went ahead and loaded it into the game. Uh, as you can see, our frames per second is around the 40 mark. Uh, this might work a lot different on the PS4 Pro, but you can give it a try. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. I just wanted to jump on just to show you that uh, you can go ahead and start using those patches. Just make sure you have that test uh, in the Gold 10 folder. But other than that there, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
really helps out the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.